how to extricate myself from all that identifying that yes. I do. Well, there's a trick and a shortcut, a wonderful trick, which is that uh, as these stories occur, as, this, as getting caught up in, in these dramas occurs, you don't need to stop them, you don't need to fight them, you don't need to cancel them out. The only thing you need to do is um, see how they're, how they're occurring, see what they're made of, what energy is, 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 is leading them to arise. How, you know, in other words, what, what the phenomena of this so-called story, getting caught up in the story, actually is. I mean, it's, an ener it's, a, it's a spontaneous energy phenomena in your consciousness. Is it, is it also biochemical? Certainly. But calling it biochemical is, it tells us what about it. I mean, that's adding more story. What does biochemical mean? What's a chemical? What's bio? You know, I mean, we have all these descriptions of all these aspects of our world and we think that, you know, we think they hold water. And they do relatively. I mean, they're useful. It's useful to have all of these concepts of how things work. But in the, in the final analysis, they're all children playing guessing games because no one knows what anything is. You know, a physicist can't tell you what a chemical is. You know, so a, 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 a biologist can't tell you what life is. So we say, oh, it's, bio, it's biochemistry in the brain, you know? Yeah, okay, that's the name we're putting on this phenomena, but what's the phenomena itself? And it's a mystery. What is it? But we can but but we don't need to analyze it, we don't need to name it, because we got it from the inside. We have the most intimate possible contact with it. So we can we can know it very directly and see what it is as it occurs. But not through abstractions. Of, of analyzing it and naming it and having a theory about what it is. It's, it's biochemistry or it's the, you know, the, the forces of astrology or it's your biorhythms or it's, you know, angels and demons warring. I mean, whatever kinds of theories that we could come up with, right? And they're all, they all may be viable and interesting and even potentially valuable in their way, but none of them are true. But we don't need them to be true because we have the real thing. You know, we may not know what it is, but, but that doesn't matter because we have it. We own it. We, we have the experience. It's direct. It's real. And, and because, it's, because the experience is real, we can approach these phenomena very, very directly and see what they are, see the energies that they are, see the, the experience as it arises. It's seeing is understanding. Or yes, it's knowing it is the only true understanding. We know it tactically, we know it by being it. It's not analytical, it's not by having a model or a theory. In other words, you want to know what water is, put your hand in it. Okay, you'll know much more about water than if you read an encyclopedia about it and never touched it, never saw it. So knowing it, having this direct experience is, is enormously powerful. Because you have the reality of what this experience actually is. You know, it's not secondhand, it's not a model, it's not a concept. And all these experiences, you know, are, th are thoughts that, that generate these stories and then the emotional reactions which are entangled with the stories and then the drama that plays out as we get caught up and then we notice we're caught up and we're embarrassed or whatever, or thinking, oh, oh I got, got sucked in again and then we try and, you know, um, lighten up or something. But all of these phenomena are happen spontaneously. You know, where do they come from? You didn't decide to have these thoughts. You didn't decide to get caught up in something. It's just this little whirlwind of energy that just goes, you know, right? In, in your consciousness. How does this happen? And we can see it as it happens. And again, not by having a story about it or being able to name it or describe it, but see it as it's happening and, and, and it will show you what it is. You'll learn an, an enormous amount about it. And you'll find out it has nothing to do with you. You know, lo and behold, all these thoughts have nothing to do with you because you're not doing them. You can't stop them. You can't start them. They just, they appear. They're these bizarre energy. They're like shooting stars, you know. These, you have a thought, it's like, phew, there it goes. You know, phew, there's another one, mm -hmm. right? So we, we're not controlling them. So what do they have to do with us? They're like the weather, you know, they come and go. And, but we can experience the truth of that because it is true. We can see it, you know, you can see it as it happens. Right now, you know, thoughts come into your mind and 
what are they? They're like these funny little willow the wisps. They're not there. There's nothing there. And all of a sudden, there's this little, shh, you know, and then shh, it's gone. And then there's another one, you know. What are they? You know, we can, but we can see that. We can see it very directly. But not if, if you approach it with any preconceptions of, oh, I'm thinking, or it's a thought, or it's an energy, or it's a this, or it's a that, all of a sudden the door is shut down, and all of, all of a sudden you're just seeing these, thought, these, these concepts and these stories, and you're not noticing this, this amazing energy phenomena, which are, which are absolutely direct, absolutely intimate. They couldn't be more intimate. I mean, you and them are literally one. It's not like your consciousness is over here somewhere and the thought happens over here. The thought is in the consciousness. It's one. It isn't so much of that thought, like we're, we're trained to think in these certain patterns in a way, are we? Sure, but it doesn't matter. So what? You know, the, you could say that the weather on the, on the earth is trained to have four seasons. It's just the pattern of things. But the pattern is not an impediment to anything. It's like a thunderstorm, you know? The sky was blue, and all of a sudden there's clouds, and all of a sudden it's dark, and all of a sudden, bang, bang, there's thunder and lightning. It's like, how did this happen? Where did this come from? It was a blue sky a few hours ago, right? And the same with us, you know, we're just hanging around doing our thing and all of a sudden we're just having tempests and yelling and screaming or whatever, right? How did this happen? But, you know, did we do it on purpose? Did we like, you know, take this energy from somewhere and sort of put it in our consciousness? It, it, it's not contrived, it's just this bizarre, it's the nature of energy, the spontaneous functioning of energy that it should, that it should function that way, isn't it? And we can notice that. And just, even if you just notice it once and then, and then forget it and get sucked up into the, into the whole whirlwind, just that every time you notice it, it makes it easier to notice it the next time. You'll notice it more, you'll notice it longer, and your identification will be incrementally decreased. And this proceeds. You just, just keep noticing, keep noticing, keep noticing. And you'll notice it that all of a sudden you'll be less and less identified. Great, uh, you know, hook me up. To stupefying radiant light. <laughs> I like it. This guy's calling me on all my bullshit. I like it. I'll give him his money back and send him on his way. That's funny. More on, a bouncer. More on, more on, my, more on myself, because I, I buy it. I want it. I think that what you just said might be a symptom of enlightenment. And, where, and how do I sign up? Like, where are you speaking next? Well, I, you know. Where are you going to look to find out what I'm talking about? I don't know. Well, uh, uh, if I'm understanding you correctly, it would be I would be foolish not to, to look anywhere but here. That's that would be my suggestion. Oh, that's fair enough. I, I like that. But then I got drowsy because consciousness and God was being spoken, and I figured, oh shit, everyone in this room must know what he's talking about. <laughs> You didn't get the God memo. Uh, especially for a career seeker. No, secret, no consciousness, <laughs> consciousness and God are great terms. because, And the reason they're great terms is because they mean absolutely nothing. Yeah. They mean absolutely nothing. I mean, right. uh, all words mean nothing. But consciousness <laughs> and God mean nothing. They mean nothing. What's God? It's, a, it's this a really impressive word to, to describe the totality or the essence or the completeness or the whatever. And even those, I, I don't want to get drowsy yeah. around. Yeah. Those are useless. Yeah. Because every time... They're I, all useless. They're all useless. And where does that leave you? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> but isn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>